Have you ever wondered about how the human race got to seven billion people? Have you ever wondered what bats, the First World War, and manure have got to do with one another? No. Well, if you haven't, have a look at this graph. The entire human race was less than one billion before 1900. Then, over the 20th century, the human population expanded to over seven billion people. How? Well, there are a number of reasons. Vaccines and improvements in healthcare and sanitation helped a great deal. But the answer lies mostly with the most important thing in our lives: love. Well, not quite. It's food, and that's almost the same thing. Well, farming got a big boost from industrialized mechanization from the oil industry. But the biggest boost came from the discovery of methods of manufacturing large amounts of synthetic fertilizer. Before World War One, we found out that placing manure from animals, especially from bat droppings on land, that plants grew much faster. Placing extra minerals on the ground made the same land capable of making a lot more food. Clever farmers have been doing this for centuries to clean up the manure from their own cattle, horses, and chickens, and increase the growth of plants. So, what's that all about? Well, even humans need to eat certain minerals and chemicals to keep us healthy and functioning well. We need calcium for our bones. We need iron for our blood. We even need sodium and potassium for our brains and nerves. But generally speaking, we only need small amounts of these elements and minerals. Plants also have mineral needs. In fact, almost all the nutrients that people need have actually been gathered by plants. We then get our nutrients from them by eating them. Plants all need these minerals to grow and make the food that we eat. They generally get all of the nutrients from the water they absorb through the soil. The carbon dioxide they need to make sugars comes from the air. Getting back to the caves, bat droppings are stinky business and generally didn't supply enough for the world's farming needs. We needed the industrial revolution to help out. The reason bat droppings helped plants grow so well is because they have a lot of nitrogen, the stuff plants make into proteins. But wait. Nitrogen is over seventy-eight percent of the air. Why couldn't plants use that? It turns out that nitrogen doesn't dissolve in water, and that's a problem. Plants are mostly water and get all of their nutrients by absorbing it into the leaves or through their roots. Nitrogen just doesn't go in. A clever German scientist may have single-handedly helped feed the world, but also. To make Germany a military force in World War One and Two, we found a way to make nitrogen from the air into ammonia, a soluble form. From this, you could produce fertilizers and explosives from thin air. So the production of food ramped up massively and decreases the price of common crops. People could afford food more easily, and family sizes increased. You might think that's a great thing, more friends, but oddly, the same chemical processes that make fertilizer also made explosives for war. The same chemicals used to feed us were also used for destruction. The overuse of fertilizers also has its downsides. They can affect the natural movements of nutrients in the environment around communities and farms too. Luckily. When they weren't being used for war, explosives are very useful for breaking up rock to obtain minerals in the ground. Mining almost exclusively uses chemicals made from this process. Without Haber's invention, the world would have a much different history. So, when you think of bats, war, and manure, you might stop and think about Mr. Haber, who changed the way people eat and fight wars. Without these amazing chemicals and process to make them, food would be more expensive. We'd need to find more bat droppings, and maybe there might be less war. 
who knows?